Hello! I'm here at the Freight and Salvage. It is past midnight and just played two shows, um, end of holiday season shows, end of year I guess you could say. Um, so I figure there are a couple of updates I could give you, mostly relevant to probably what you want to know about. One is, how did the Asia tour go, which was awesome and epic and super, super appreciative to everybody who played any part in organizing it, in being there, in making me feel amazingly welcome everywhere I went. Um, every place was super different, so Melbourne was a great place to start the tour, um, just a really warm vibe, really um, fun evening, and then Sydney was super fun. That was where I forgot the words to know gringo and people were actually like yelling them out line by line until it all kind of gave out. <laughs> so that was fun. And then, um, let's see. Oh, and then Canberra was amazing because we were playing in this like sort of funny, it was sort of like a cruise ship that was like, not a cruise ship, it was sort of like set next to a mall. Um, and then the audience was like smaller that night, but, but super, super just present and, and lots of fun. So we got everybody on stage afterwards and hung out for a while and that was cool. And then I spent a couple of days off in Australia with um, with Carsey. Took a harbor cruise around. Went to a national park. It was it's a pretty nice country you all have down there. Um, and then we went to Singapore, where it was a crazy like packed house in this like little blue jazz cafe in the middle of the uh, Middle Eastern district. And there was a jazz band playing underneath me the whole time. So, you know, some quiet songs, a little tricky with the jazz band. We tried to make that happen as smoothly as possible most of the time. And then on to Malaysia, where they had this amazing um, music venue run by this woman who got tired of being a classical musician who had nowhere to play other than concert halls. So she created this amazing club with an amazing piano. She's like, yeah, have fun. And we did. And then I went on to Japan. Yes. That's what happened. And we played at uh, this tiny uh, Cafe Kamakura, Cafe Goatee in Kamakura. Um, and I could go on for days about the, uh, my experience there. But basically, it was really, really intimate and wonderful. And one of those moments where you think about, like, yeah, this is what music has always been about. And so I had two magical nights of that. Got to hang out with Tommy Lee from the Level Up video who makes his way around Tokyo using trans public transportation even better than I do. Nothing, like, the, the, the having um, the artificial leg never stops him. So he's pretty amazing guy. Got to meet his family too, that was fun. And, let's see. And then I went to the Philippines, which I'm not playing favorites on this Asia tour because everything was super special, but, but Manila was its own kind of epic journey in itself. And all I have to say is that, wow, Philippines, you guys are an amazing live music audience. <laughs> I'd never thought that like people would start screaming in the beginnings of songs and like sing through the whole thing. And that just like happened twice in a row, uh, two nights in a row, so that was fun. And then got to have a little meet up with everyone in a cafe um, in the afternoon. That was, that was awesome. And then uh, on to Taiwan, where people were super quiet super respectful. It was not like the Philippines at all. And it took a minute for me to be like, are you guys okay? Are you guys enjoying it? But they were. And uh, we had a really good time in Taiwan as well. My mom joined up with me there, which is where we got to kind of traipse around town and get to understand where my mom comes from. That was pretty cool. Then we went on to China. So we first we went to Shenzhen, and then we went to Hong Kong. Uh, had a day off in Hong Kong, then went over to Shanghai. Did not make it to Beijing because it got cancelled for reasons that are that remain mysterious. Um, so uh, Shenzhen was really cool, and it was in this like neat little district of town. And I think the most striking thing about all three shows in China, even in Hong Kong, were how many people were already familiar with the music, and how many of them spoke fluent English, and how many people have been listening to it for a long time. So that was all an amazing trip. <laughs> so thank you to everybody who helped put that together. And I hope it's not the last time I get to go perform. <laughs> so that was the long update number one.
shorter updates are, I'm still working on Kickstarter. I promise those of you who are waiting for your rewards, I've been recording cover songs all year. I've been giving email feedback to people it's super late, but people have been really nice about it. Um, and we're uh, still editing together the, uh, the video stuff. It's mostly my fault because I'm supposed to be checking it and giving comments. So I'm going to be working on that for the remainder of the year before the new year. And, um, and so yeah, so that's what's going on with Kickstarter. It's like there are still rewards coming for people. And I guess the other update is um, I'm touring next April. So I'm going to be on the East Coast. I'm going to be playing solo shows. I think I'm going to try and create basically what happened in Asia and what happened here tonight, which is basically I got up there and basically said, I, I haven't played for some of you ever, and I haven't played for some of you in a long time. So this is basically for you. What do you want to hear? And I think I haven't done shows like that on the East Coast. So it'll be really fun to do for the first time. That's it for me. And hope you have had an eventful year. Uh, an eye-opening year. I hope that next year, if this year was a, a year of trials and tribulations, that they start to coalesce into some kind of new and good phase for you in 2015. And I will hope that most of all for myself too, because it's been an eventful year this, this past year, but there have been some hard things too. So here's to 2015, kind of bringing it all together in a way with new wisdom, new maturity, and new excitement.